at their most what? Contagious. Okay, they're, that's when they're the most contagious. So that's important with, to us, especially if we are within six feet. You all get that? Okay, so if we're going to do a blood culture, someone had a temperature, then you might want to make sure you're wearing a mask. mask. A mask. You get that? Okay. Alrighty, so, and, and then sometimes, you know, patients, because um, we'll have this mask on, and hello, we're here to draw blood, um, and they'll be, well, what's the matter with me? You know, so instead of explaining, going into something and opening that Pandora's box up, I always say, well, you know, it's me. Um, I'm thinking I might, you know, have the sniffles or something or I got hay fever. We don't want to say we got Ebola and we're here to draw them in you know, type of thing. You know, you don't want to make it too big. You know, I just got this hay fever and when I've been, you know, so we have the mask and, you know, just make a light note of it. Okay. So, again, we try to figure out where we're going to draw. This should be as, as um, aseptic as possible, meaning where the only sterile <coughs> place really is and where, O-R. You get that? Mm -hmm. This needs to be done in a sterile technique, but we're not in O-R. Mm -hmm. right? We don't want to retouch the site because we don't want to introduce microbes. Mm -hmm. you, you get what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. So, um, what we do is go on in, introduce yourself, all that good stuff. We're going to um, tie the tourniquet because it, just like any other vena puncher, we got to figure out where the vein is, right? Yeah. Okay, we figured out where the vein is. So I'm gonna untie, I would still leave it underneath their arm, but I'm gonna untie it and now I'm gonna start setting up my supplies. For my tubes. My tubes. Oh, oh, oh yes, yes. <laughs> that's okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, okay. I'll I steal them back writing. later. Okay. <laughs> so, with um, blood cultures, you can draw um, several different ways. We can use the, you know, with hypodermic. We could use it with the um, butterfly. You get what I mean by that. Um, we don't draw with this method with blood cultures, okay? You don't mm -hmm. use the ETS method, okay? Not with the ETS needle. Mm -hmm. You all understand what I mean by that? Okay. Now, these are blood culture bottles. Blood culture bottles. What you'll see is we'll have two blue. Blue is like the air we breathe, right? So, like the color of the sky, right? So, blue equals what? Aerobic. Air. Aerobic. Air. Aerobic. Very good. Mm -hmm. See how we made that rationale? Mm -hmm. And the purple would be anaerobic, anaerobic. with air. out air. 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 Very good. All right, everybody get aerobic, air, air. anaerobic, anaerobic. No, air. no air. Very good. Now, I'm very glad that some of you were able to do butterfly. John, did you keep, keep that one butterfly I gave you, or did you manage to give it away? Don't hey, it you oh. held on to it. Okay. Yeah, very Thank good. You. Well, um, okay. I don't even know. Well, I don't know. I just feel like I shouldn't use it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was clever. <laughs> I don't know. I just First she feel, stole my tube, like, then she <laughs> stole my butterfly. <laughs> Monday they say we're getting a man, but who knows? Yeah, um, hang on to it. Then. I know. Um, if we were going to use syringe, do you understand this um, rubber sleeve um, mm -hmm. part would have to come out yes. mm -hmm. to attach these two together? You all get that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Everybody get that, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So if we were going to use the butterfly with the syringe, that's how we would do that. You all get that? Sure. I happen to think um, drawing with the butterfly method is the best because it's less possible chance of contamination. Mm -hmm. You all get that? Mm -hmm. If we were using the hypodermic needle to this end, we would, after the draw, we have safety lock, we have to physically take it off, dispense the hypodermic needle, put on the, the system. Right. You all get, so yeah. that yeah. some mm -hmm. could be contamination. contamination. Exactly, okay. exactly. Mm -hmm. If we do the tube holder to this system here to the butterfly mm -hmm. and we draw the blood is going directly into these bottles mm -hmm. so do you understand that's less contamination mm -hmm. 
Okay, so I happen to think the best method is to draw the tube holder to the butterfly because it directly goes into the blood culture bottles, okay? Now that we know that, let's talk about the bottles. You never cover your windows. We know that because um, of the tubes that we use, right? What I'm saying is, any tube of blood that we use, you always want to label over the pre-manufacturer label because we want to see the how much blood is in here, whatever the case, the plasma, the serum, all that good stuff. Same thing goes here. We would not label over this part because it's a window. We want to see in. We'll label over in this part here. You never want to label on barcoding because just like anything else, that's how it gets scanned. Okay? It's very important when we, after the blood draw, and we, you know, to, again, we're going to sign date and time it, right? Like anything else. But tell the uh, microbiologist where you got the blood from. So this would be the person's, uh, what? Right? AC. 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 Very good. Okay? We're going to draw 